good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. You know, guys, I really got to be honest. Um, these people on these reality shows, and I noticed that a lot of these folks who used to be in the industry, used to be in the media, or wherever the hell they're from, have you noticed that mostly all of them are no talented that go to these reality shows, it, especially the Real Housewives of Potomac or Atlanta or any of that stuff? Almost all of them are terrible. OK, now, what, 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 what with that being said, I want to talk about Candace Dillard Bassett. Candace Dillard Bassett is also on the Real Housewives of Potomac. Uh, both her parents were physicians for the Air Force, very intelligent, very smart people. Good, I got it. She's married to Chris Bassett, who is Caucasian. Don't know what he does, it doesn't matter to me, all right? Don't have any problems with him, okay? But now, I have an issue with what she just put out as this commentary, okay? I wanna play this clip and then I'm gonna come back. I, one thing I will say, I do have a fear of having light skin children. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I want my kids to be brown. Yeah. But they're probably not going to be brown. Yeah. And I'm like becoming okay you with You have a demo? I will be very happy. Mm. I will. I, it, but I, I want my kids to be brown. Mm -hmm. But if they're not, it's fine. So, guys, did you, did you hear that? This is a woman who has married a white man since 2018. What does the woman say? The woman says, you know what? Um, yeah, I don't want a light-skinned baby. I want my kids to be brown skin. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I want my kid to be brown skin. This is exactly what she's saying, right? Now, here, here's what I would like to um, talk to you guys about as black men. The question is this, guys. What do you feel that a black woman or black woman would say if you were to say the same goddamn thing? Imagine you were to say, you know what, man, I, I, I really don't want to have a light-skinned baby, but my wife is white. I mean, if it comes, it comes, but I'm really not that interested in it. What would black women say? Oh my God, they would, they would clown you. And to be fair, they clowned her, black women clowned her. Why would they clown you? Because if you want a brown child, you would get a person that is what? Black. You don't go out and get a Caucasian mate and say you don't want a light-skinned child. Like, this is not build a bear, build a child. You don't get to pick the child's skin complexion or uh, sexuality or height. You don't get to pick it. You can, however, do your best to alter it. Like, if I want a tall child, well, I can get a tall wife. And then if I want my child to be a certain color, I would get a tall wife who is dark skin or brown skin. And then I can go out there and I can continue to do that. Because that makes sense. Want to know what doesn't make sense? Want to know what doesn't make sense? What she's talking about. All right? And, and, and it's completely delusional. And again, this is why a lot of brothers in, 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 in the community, when we come across the swirlers or the divesters or people like that, and then we see them in like relationships, people, I don't really think black men get that jealous because how do you even make a light of such a comment? How do you even say something like that? And then how do you say that and be taken seriously? I don't think you can say that and be taken seriously. I'm, I'm quite sure you can't be taken seriously. I'm sure you can't. And so many black men understand that if it were the other way around, you would be getting boycotted, right? Let me let me just say this. I, I, I knew a brother. He was he was he was he was extra dusty too. By the way, I'm just gonna tell the truth. He was he was real dusty. I knew a brother who was real dusty. Um, he had a perm and um, we used to work together. And sometimes, man, he would be, you, you would hear him on the toilet, man, because 
he would be eating greens and stuff and i guess his greens was shady so he'd be on the toilet like surfing like like, uh, like that right and so you'd be like yo bro like what's going on with you man oh man these greens brother so you know the, the guy the guy was sort of like a joke you know nobody really took him that serious or anything like that but anyways he never liked dating uh like black women that wasn't his thing like he he would always say i want to date women that have black features but they're not black i'm like well, what are black features he was like oh so yeah um you know they gotta have a big butt you know they gotta like uh like rap music you, you know they gotta like the culture but but they just can't be black and i was taken aback and so me and some of the other brothers that worked there when we would hear from the guy we thought the guy was completely stupid we were like wait a minute you don't want a black woman but you want a white woman who has all black features we just knew something was wrong with the guy and and we did because he had a perm in 2010. so obviously something was wrong with the guy actually it was before that it was like 2000 five or six he had a he had a beat up her I mean it was like dusty so we already knew that something was wrong with the guy he was completely dusty he was completely broke and of course he never got what he was looking for any goddamn way because nobody wants to put up with him no way all right it's the truth nobody wants to put up with him all right and to this day he was like real tall too. I think he was like six foot five, six foot six, but he used to like wear like beat up church shoes and work. He was, he was just dusty. And when I think about this lady, I'm thinking about like, yo, who wants to deal with you? Well, that guy, obviously. And it makes still no sense at all. I have no idea why, okay? Somebody thinks that this makes sense. I, I swear to God, and 30 white folks, I do not know why. And again, people just continue to expose themselves. They don't want black people, but they want black people. What, what are you talking about? Like, how silly are you? How can you even be taken seriously? I'm telling you, black men, just when you hear stuff like that, don't even send it into them. Don't send it into them, brothers. Just, just look at them. And as you see them, just stay away. Don't even. Mm -mm. So guys, what do you think is your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Put your fire. You just heard a bell. We're out. <laughs>